for our mono weed guard, I'm going to take a piece of 20 pound hard monofilament um, and a relatively long piece. I like to leave it long so that I can kind of get it out of the way during the rest of the fly. I'll trim it in the final step. But for right now, I'm going to leave it long. And I'm going to tie this in right on top of the hook. I want it right in line with the hook shank. And I want to do this with relatively flat wraps of thread. I'm going to let my thread unwind a bit here. Those flat wraps tend to disappear a little bit and not show up quite so much. It also builds bulk horizontally rather than vertically, so I'm not going to build a whole lot of volume on the hook shank. I'm going to come all the way about halfway down the bin there, and then I'll return the thread back to where I started. Just nice, even, smooth layers of thread. I'll step the thread just off the end of that monofilament, and I can whip finish my white thread there. I'm going to put a light coat of head cement over those wraps. If you're really ambitious, you can come through and put a, a light coat of epoxy on this. You'll have to wait for it to dry up, but a little light coat of epoxy will further toughen these wraps up if, if you need. What I've got here is just a square, about a three by three inch square of plastic that I've cut out of a bag of fly tying materials. Um, just regular plastic baggie, nothing special there. I'm going to take my scissors and poke a hole through the center of it. I'm going to slide this over the hook eye. So I want to line that, that up with the hook eye. I'm going to actually shove this bug back just a touch here with my fingers. Let me get him chucked in my vise proper so I don't bend the hook out. You can see I'll get my fingernails just right down along the hook eye so that that hook eye is a bit more exposed. Then I'll take my piece of plastic and set it up there. Line that hole up with the hook eye. And the idea is I'm going to poke the hook eye through that hole in the plastic. And this plastic is going to be a guard to hold the rest of the bug back while I tie off the, the weed guard. So you can see how I've slid that around. Once I've got that on there, I can rechuck the hook just by the bend. And again, be careful not to pinch the weed guard in the jaws. I'm going to slide this back. And I'm just pinching my fingers in as close to the hook eye as I can get them. I've got a few little hairs that are sticking out there. I'm not going to worry about that because I can, I can still trim those. And I'll start some A dot thread here just behind the hook eye. Once I've got that thread started, I'll come in and cut that tag end out. Got just a couple little hairs there that need to go away. It's important to trim those out because there's no way a fish would eat it if the fly, if that ha those hairs were in the hook eye. That just won't happen. Now what we're going to do with this weed guard, we've got you know obviously plenty of extra material. I want to leave about a quarter inch between the the weed guard and the hook point. So I don't want it right up against the hook point, but I do want to make sure it's lined up directly under the hook point. Um, so as I bring this through, I'm going to bring it up through the hook eye and draw it up to about the right length. And that's where I want to measure. So I've got about that quarter, quarter inch gap. At that point, I'm going to pinch this mono down with a pair of D-bar pliers. And then I could draw it out again. That's just my marker for where I want to pinch flat. And I'm going to pinch this mono flat for a, a distance on either side of that initial mark. By flattening the mono, it's going to make it take up less space inside the hook eye so it doesn't crowd my hook eye and I can still get my tippet through it. It's also going to make it tie down a little cleaner. Um, it also gives the mono, the round mono, an edge so that it can sit on one side. I'll slide this back again, tuck this piece of monofilament up through the hook eye. And with it on the bottom of the hook, I'm going to take a couple turns of thread to catch it. You can even slide those wraps in. And you can see how we're using this weed guard to jam the face of the bug back. We may do a little final trimming even after we get this in there. I'm going to fold that front end back, pinch everything back as tightly as I can. And with short thread, I'm going to work back over both strands, both the top and bottom strands of the weed guard. Just building a little thread head. And you can see my thread is, my bobbin tip is actually touching the hook as I come around to finish that off nice and tight. Once I've got that in there, I can take one of these razor blades 
and very carefully come in and just nick the edge of this mono off flush. Then we're going to come in with our whip finisher. And whip finish this thread just behind the hook eye. I'll trim that thread out. And then to get rid of the weed guard or the, the face guard here, I'm just going to lift it up and pop it down. You can see how that'll slide out of the way. And I have to cut to that center notch where I can remove that.